Hey there, I'm Samya Manne, an artist and a certified Zentangle teacher. Welcome to yet another Zentangle mini project. So today's focus tangle in our focus flight series is called 11 by Helena. Hel 11 is a border tangle with an interesting weave uh, look to it. I plan to use another simple tangle along with 11 to complete my Zentangle today. I'm going to work on my regular white square tile with a black pen. So go grab your supplies. All we need is a white tile or a white paper and a black pen and a stub and let's get okay so here we are with our supplies my white tile my black pen pencil stub and I also have a 08 thicker black pen for filling so we will be doing a bit of filling today's session so uh, let's start with uh, with our dots on four corners okay so make my dots on four corners and I'm going to join them. So I'm going to join a little lower. Like this. Right. Now, uh, so today's tangle of 11, we are uh, going to make a string that goes something like, like this and like that okay so this will be our string now let's get started with our tangle so we're going to start like this and then this one goes not a line that goes but this is joined at the top now i make another set so the first set of lines do not join at the top, but the second set of lines join. Okay, this is this is a little tricky tangle, but it really turns out beautiful. Okay, so we keep doing this and make sure none of these lines touch. Uh, there should be a little space between them. So now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull this up, pull this up, and this is going to come out like that. And then we're going to make another V here that goes about like that. Okay. So we're going to repeat this. So the inner lines are going to come down like a V. Okay, the outer lines are going to come and connect to this. Do you see how this creates a V? Okay, so we're going to repeat this again. So the inner lines come down, you skip these two and you come down here and they make a V. Okay, now the outer lines come and connect to this. Like that okay so we're going to repeat this so it's a nice interlocked chain kind of a finish oops see what I did so I'm going to make my V here make my line there so I just adjust it okay now Repeating the same thing.
there isn't that fun so you can go really precise like you can have two other lines that's going along and you can fit it uh, fit your 11 right between those two lines or you can go really crazy and make them all uh, of different sizes okay so let's start again here so I'm done here with both my 11s now we are going to go ahead and fill this gap up this little triangle or rather diamond shape and this uh, pod shape I'm gonna take my thicker pen and uh, fill this whole thing up nice jet black so we we'll do this uh, on both our tangles so I'm gonna go ahead and fill these all of these black jet black take your time while you do this this is really fun filling black in to that space so it's important you take a pen that has nice flowing ink that's one of the reasons I switched to the 08 because it has a better flow of ink okay so so uh, we are done with our filling and making our 11 now let's do another tangle that is going to fill up this space inside so i'm going to do skeena so there are a couple of ways to do it uh, we will start like this and keep going along that line So here uh, I'm going to get a few more here. Let's see how to do this. So now I'm going to add a couple of them in the center. So we're going to go all around this uh, square here. as you go keep rotating your tile Take your time to create your lines. It's fun and you can quickly get into the Zen mode while doing this.
guess it uh, we are almost finished okay so now I'm going to make create some depth here so I'm going to go about making these dark edges for all of my for each of my lines So I've gone ahead and filled all of my uh, lines with a little black like that only at the only at the ends now I'm gonna make um, I want to make it more interesting so here's what I'm gonna make I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull this line like this so I'm just gonna randomly pull the lines out in an opposite direction so this line was going like this but I'm just putting it out in this direction so I'm pretending this line would come here as well okay so now this is going this way so uh, I would continue that and continue it like this that okay so I'm going to again go back and give a little depth here like this for each of my lines that's sticking out okay, so take your time while you do this So I'm going ahead and adding black all over so it now looks like this okay so now we're ready for shading so shading for 11 is very simple we are just going to add our pencil right these intersections here And just use your pencil uh, stub to just blend it out. that all over so add your pencils first and then you can use your stuff to blend through
like that so I'm going to repeat that on this triangle as well so I'm done shading my 11 now it's time to shade a schema so first thing I want to do is just put my pencil right on the borderline that we created that's the place where our lines kind of take a turn and then we'll give this swirl a little depth here like that okay so I'm just going to blend this to give that depth there and now I'm going to blend this into the square into the border do you see how this creates a nice effect almost like a, a raised square but two live uh, 11 borders kind of flowing through there you go that fun so before we finish our tile we are going to put our initials and sign it so I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my signature here so there you go Hope you had fun creating this project. I would love to see your creations. So hop on to FB group, Zen Bees. Uh, that's where the after party happens. Share your works there and uh, see what uh, others have created. And um, if you're sharing this we, uh, this project of yours on social media, do tag me with at uh, Sandhya Mane or hashtag Tangled with Sandhya. So I get to see your works there. And now it's time to comment. Comment and let me know how you enjoyed this uh, video. So that would help me create future videos. And uh, also show me some love and um, uh, like this video and um, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, so until next time, remember to breathe and smile. See ya. Namaste.